welcome back so we have created the scene we have added the characters and now comes how to make it animate so again for animation we are going to make use of the adobe mixamo service so let us now come back to our website so if you open the browser and in the browser we already choose the character now let us come to the other tab called as animation and now when you come to the animation you have all kind of animated movements present over here you have many kind of animations here and the animation that now we are concerned is about walk so i will search here for walk and i will press enter so and now you have all walking animations present here so you have different kind of animation or walking so you can select any one of them so i am going to select uh, so you have so many walking styles see you can you have various kind of walking styles you can see here okay so i will choose one very simple walking style it is a good walk i will choose this walking style so you can select any walking style i am just going to click it and when i click on it you can see him walking in that style see he is walking you can see that however this walking he is moving forward i doesn't want him to move forward what i will do is i will choose the option here in place in place means see he will be walking in the same place he won't move forward now see you can set the speed here you can make him walk fast or you can make him fast uh, slow you have various how to adjust the arm space all the features are here right now let us leave everything as default and now come to download so when i click on download now and in fbx now i don't need the skin choose the option without skin let us set the frames per second to 30 frames and keyframe reduction no we were not going to use any option here and click on the download button so when you click on the download button this is now going to actually download the walking style so we have downloaded one animation right now so the next option that we want is i will come back here and instead of walk i will type run he is going to run now and running also you have various kind of options here you can if you scroll here you have various options of running and i am going to choose this running so when i choose that running you can see him running and i can again click on in place so that he is running in the same position uh, i can check the overdrive or how much speed he is running i can set the speed also at which he is running i will increase the speed to 70 here and with this speed now i am going to click again on the download without skin and i am going to download this second animation and this second animation that i am downloading is a running animation and now as he is running in the end i want him to come and stop so for this i will come back here and i will choose an option called drunk so if i choose drunk uh, i have one drunk walk uh, then drunk idle uh, so drunk walk backwards i have drunk turn uh, so you have various option here so walking uh, so i have i will choose some option over here uh, where he is uh, going to come and stop slowly so i will just choose the option so that it appears as though he is tired so i will use this option drunk walk and see see he is going to stop like this so this will appear as though he is going to again here i will use in place so that he comes down and slowly he is stopping down he is tired and he is going to stop like this so again even for this come here and choose download and here i am going to click download so this is the third animation that we have downloaded and now he has to again turn towards the shop that is 
if we come to our scene and if we have a look uh, the shop is to his right so he has to come and turn towards this shop okay and turn and move to the right so to make him turn right i have to see any animation available here for turn right so i will type turn right and press enter and now if i see see he is going to turn you have uh, see him turning right so if i choose this animation see he turns see he is turning right okay so this animation i am going to use okay right turn and again here choose download and i am going to choose the download option so this is the fourth animation that we are using so like this what we have to do is whatever animation we want it in our script we have to download those actions here as different files and finally he is going to walk to the that is the shop and he is going to talk something so the last animation the fifth animation i may need here is i will use a talk animation i will type talk and i can see if anything is available about talking so here i have an animation where he is talking so see he is talking something so i will actually take this animation okay he is just like appearing like talking so uh, i will take this animation he is asking something and he is talking so this animation i am going to download and I am going to use the same setting here and click download. So now what happened is we have got our five animation. Now I will open the folder where I have downloaded this five animation. I will just copy all these files, come back to my PC and in my drive and I will come to St. Joseph folder and in the folder where I have uh, uh, my unreal environment and short film in this i will create a new folder and call this as animations and in this i am going to paste all these animation files so now if we want we can even rename it here so we are now ready with all our downloaded animations so after this let us now come back to unreal now in unreal I need all these animations to be imported into my project. So for this, let us now come to file and save the current level. So let us save this current level, then come back to content drawer. And in your content character Bryce, I am going to create another new folder and I am going to call this as animations. So I will name it as one second, or I can just call it short anims. Okay and i will double click this anims and now here i'm going to import it using a different uh, technique like i will come here and i will open the folder where i have all these five animations okay i have just copied it now what i will do is i will select all the five now and i will just drag it to this so when i drag it to this automatically again you have this fbx import option and now one thing here you have to remember now is when we imported the animation we uh, exported the animation in maximo we didn't use the skin here we have to attach the skin and if you come here you have various skins of all the characters that is available in our uh, assets right now choose this bright skeleton and selecting the bright skeleton leave all other thing to default okay and then click not import but import all because we have selected five files if you click on import all now so now all the five animations will be imported into your anims folder see okay so now the import is done if you come back to content drawer now you can see drunk walk right turn running talking and walking so all the animations are imported. So we have now created the animation and we have imported into our project. So after this, 
our next aim is to add it. How do we add it and control the animation using a timeline in Unreal? And this part, we are just like in Premiere and After Effects, we have a sequence or composition. In Unreal, we call this again as a sequence. We have to create an animated sequence. And how to create these sequences and put up the animation, this we are going to discuss it in our next session. Thank you.